although this is an Anglo-Saxon problem, as we see in jurisdictions that require some political jurisdiction from their apex courts, we must, and indeed we do, approach every issue with legal reins. It is important that political institutions exhaust all political solutions and only turn to courts as a matter of last resort. And when I look back at what happened to us in 2007, when we were visited by post-election violence, when I look at what happened in 2017, and also 2022, the Mandamano, and the creation of the Nusu Mukate or half roof bread government, the handshake government, and now the broad based government. I always wondered had we sat down under our provisions of Article 159 to reason together and resolve the dispute before we went into fighting each other, we would have been very far as a country. So let us embrace the provisions of 159 and do NDR or what we are calling court and extra mediation or alternative justice system to resolve the disputes that visit us, especially politically. We have resolved those three cycles of disputes as the Supreme Court, but the answer given by the Supreme Court is not what carried the day. What happened at the table through negotiations in those arrangements, including the creation of the broad-based government after the dispute in 2022 elections, is testament that political solutions to political problems is possible. Although courts remain ready to delve into complex legal issues arising out of political processes, we must require all institutions to exhaust constitutional alternative dispute resolution avenues to strengthen the cohesion in our society. In today's rapidly evolving world, new dynamics continue to reshape the legal, political, and social landscapes in which we operate. Challenges such as deepening social inequality, the urgent realities of climate change, political competition, which introduce complex issues that demand careful navigation and thoughtful judicial responses. The advent of emerging technologies also bring both opportunities and risk, particularly in the realm of information misinformation and disinformation, especially as they proliferate through social 